Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Elise, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. So today, I am super excited to be filming this video because I am going to be featuring the Love Melissa Michelle Times Ulta palette. Oop, it's upside down, girl. Get it together. This is actually my first time trying it out. I am very highly impressed by it. It's just a really beautiful palette with beautiful colors overall. If you do not have it, girl. What are you waiting for? It is a really, really good palette. Really amazing price, and it's literally in everything in one because it literally has eyeshadows, it has a blush, it has a highlighter, which is really, really good. I mean, can we not see the glow? And it also has a really bomb liquid lipstick here. I definitely recommend it. I think it is awesome, and I think Melissa did an amazing job. She is definitely an OG YouTuber to me. She is one of my favorites. I've been watching her for years and years and years. Definitely wanted to support her in her first collab, and I just want to say it's an A+. I think it's really, really good. The look that I have on today is definitely channeling something that she actually did. It's one of her Get Ready With Me's. It's the more natural one, I think it is. And she kind of just does something like this. So she was definitely my inspiration with this makeup look. Loved how it looked on her. I love how she wore it. So I knew I wanted to recreate it for sure. So yeah, enough of the blabbing. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. I'm going to start off by taking this shade right here from the palette that's called Rosemary. It's just a really nice neutral brown. And this is the shade that I'm going to use as a transition. So I'm just taking a fluffy crease brush and I'm just putting that into my crease ever so slightly. Just making sure I have a good transition base before I go in with um, the darker shade. And before I did this, I did already prime my eyelids with some concealer and some loose powder over top. I'm going in with the shade Bing Bing, which is a red tone brown. It's definitely a lot deeper than the shade that I just used. I'm going to start with this shade on the outer corner and just bring it in towards the rest of my crease. And I'm just going to deepen up the colors. As you can see, I'm just taking a more tapered brush. It's not as fluffy as the last one that I used. But I am going to go in with the fluffy one that I used in the beginning occasionally just to make sure all the colors are fully blended out. I'm grabbing this beautiful, almost like rose gold coppery shade called Cades. And this is a shade that Melissa actually used in her video. And she actually applied this with her fingers. So I'm using the same technique in this video. I'm just using this on my lid. After I'm done with the lid color, I'm just going to go in with the brush that has some of the leftover browns on it. And I'm just going to put that back and forth in my crease just to make sure it's blended out. Taking the color Harley, which appears to be the deepest taupe in the palette, I'm going to take this on a tapered brush and just put that on my outer corner and just deepen out that outer corner for more of a smoky eye effect. It really helps give you that almondy kind of eye. You have most of the drama on the outer corner and then it gets a lot softer towards the inner corner. So I'm just going to put that on the outer corner and just fluff that out with a blending brush. Next, I'm just going to grab a clean makeup wipe and just clean up all the excess fallout. There wasn't too much, but um, it's just really important for me to do this step before I go in with any base for my face. Ha, that rhymed. Another alternative to using tape if you want that carved out edge is you just take that makeup wipe and you just run it along the edge of your eye. Just give you that straight clean line without having the harsh tape. I'm just going to go in with a thin coat of mascara just before I go in with lashes. I am going to do the lashes off camera, but I will make sure to have it all listed in the description box down below, so make sure you check it out. Taking the shade Wheezy, which is like a creamy cream. Wait, no. A creamy, like, light beige. I'm going to take that and I'm going to run that to highlight my brow bone area. Then I'm just going to take the Too Faced Hangover RX primer to prime my face before foundation. And for foundation today, I'm using the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. I really love this foundation and sometimes I just forget about it and then I come back to it and I forget about it and I come back to it. It's like a really clingy ex-boyfriend. Yeah, that's, how, that's the relationship I have with this foundation. For concealer, I'm just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape, which is a surprise to no one. <laughs> and then I'm just going to run that on my um, under eye area down the bridge of my nose and then on my chin and my lip area just to brighten my face and even it all out. And I'm just going to blend all of that out with my Real Techniques sponge. And then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm taking this color right here, which is the beige, and I'm going to use this to set my concealer in place. Set it and forget it, ladies and gents. You just always want to do that, especially if you're oily like me. That is very important. Major key. 
I'm just going to bronze up my face because I felt like I was looking very ghostly at that particular moment. So just to bring some color to my face, I'm using the City Color Bronzer. And I forgot the shade, so I'll have it listed down below for you guys. And then I'm just going to take Harley from the palette. And I'm going to run that on the lower lash line area just to finish smoking that out. Taking the shade Lola, I love that name by the way, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my inner tear duct area. That's a really pretty like frosty vanilla shade with some really nice gold shimmers in it. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to grab Mahal, which is a blush from the palette. And holy moly, that is a really strong blush. You want to have a light hand with this, ladies and gentlemen. A light hand because it is really, really pigmented. So you just want to make sure you um, yeah, are careful. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take Holler, which is the highlighter. I just mix all three of the shades. There's like three different gradient shades within that actual like little circle. It's a beautiful highlighter. As you can see, highlight on fleek, 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 fleek. And that is um, going to be it for the face. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put some of the lipstick on. I don't think the lipstick has a name, but it's a beautiful like nudie, peachy, everyday kind of shade. I think it would complement so many different skin tones. So that's pretty much going to complete this video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.